In order for your body to reach top end speed, you need to be able to create full and entire hip extension. What hip extension means is you need to be able to get those hips driven all the way forward here, so you're getting full power as you push through the floor. One area that we see people neglect all the time is their feet. If your toes can't get 60 degrees of extension here, meaning that that toe can't come all the way up here while these other toes are staying on the floor, if you don't have that extension in your toes, you're not gonna be able to get full hip extension because that's where it all comes from. So when I step on the floor, if my toes are really stiff, I'm not gonna be able to push those hips all the way forward because I'm gonna get stuck with my butt behind me. The further your toes can bend here, the more you can drive through that hip and achieve that full extension as you're driving forward. So what we're gonna work on right now is how to strengthen those toes and get them better in an extended position. So you're gonna have your hands on your hips, make sure your hips are nice and level. You're gonna think about the balls of your feet. You got two balls here, one ball here. All your little toes here are just there to help to give a little bit of balance, but your primary weight's gonna be across those three points. To think of it easily, think of like 33 and a third percent of your weight is on each of those balls of your feet. So from this position here, I'm gonna have my hands on my hips. I'm gonna put all the weight into the front two balls of my feet. So I'm gonna come on up here, hold there, and then control yourself down. Now what you're gonna find a lot of times if your toes are stiff, you're gonna to wanna to come out and you're gonna lose your balance. So you wanna think about those toes spreading out, pushing through the floor, and coming up on the balls of those feet. Once you're there, you're gonna go nice and slow and control yourself down. So don't just plop down each time. You wanna come all the way up, and then slowly control yourself down. So again, being able to come up, control all the way down. Slow coming up, slow coming down. But look at my hips as I do this. I'm not letting my hips stay here when I do it. I wanna think about those hips driving forward. So my hips are extended, pushing through those toes, keep that extension there, control coming down. Push them all the way up, and controlling coming down. Once you get good at that, you're gonna work on a little bit of quicker ones. So now you're gonna come up to the top, you're gonna go slow coming down, and you're gonna come up quick. So watch from the side. I'm here, slow coming down, slow coming down, lightly touch those heels to the floor, and pop back up. As you master that, then you start getting yourself exploding off the floor. So watch it from the side again, I'm here at the top, I'm gonna go slow coming down, my feet are going to leave the floor in each one of these. Check it out. So I'm going to come down, slow. The more explosive you get off the balls of those feet, then stick that landing is what you want. You can then use that position in all of your speed drills. When you're running full speed, I like to do a lot of that work barefoot so that you can feel those toes fully extended. So in a lot of my speed drills, you'll see that on barefoot. That's the reason why. That doesn't mean you're, you're not supposed to wear shoes, but it's a great way to train your feet to work better so they work even more efficiently within those shoes.